Hello everyone, so today I have quite highly requested item for review. I got quite a few requests to review this airbrush and mini compressor kit. And fortunately popular marketplace Banggood were kind enough and provided one unit for review. So inside of this box we have one airbrush hose with two screw connections, one airbrush with convenient carry case, airbrush holder that mounts onto compressor. Of course, most important part of this kit is compressor itself. As you can see, that's quite basic compressor with only one button, pressure adjustment valve and one screw connection for air hose. Also, kit includes very simple, but also very important accessory, moisture trap. Compressor unit is powered by 12 volt power supply. So let's talk about good things first. Airbrush kit is very compact. Compressor unit weighs under 500 grams. Hose connection has proper screw mount, unlike those press fit connections you will find in cheap compressors. That means compressor is compatible with most popular accessories. Before we start testing, I will say a few words about airbrush itself. So this is quite popular and common model, and I have used similar airbrush for years. So it is quite good airbrush for beginners, it is dual action, has big color cap and lid on top. Construction is quite simple and it will be very easy to maintain. Included spanner will help you to change nozzle. So it's time to talk about cons of this compressor. You already know that this compressor has pressure controls. However, it is very primitive regulator. That's a simple limiting valve that releases air or contains it inside of compressor. You can't really tell what level of pressure is currently enabled. Compressor is not very powerful, so I would recommend you to set maximum pressure anyway. There is also four rubber feet to reduce sliding on table and minimize noise levels. In a few seconds you will see how effective it is. Just to give you an idea about noise levels, I will first use a spray can. As you can see noise level is quite high and rubber feet are not working at all. I have found a solution for sliding problem by simply placing compressor on a foam. Compressor has no auto stop function and it is running constantly all the time. Also, you can hear changes in the noise pitch when I press trigger, that is simply based on buildup of pressure. As I said before, pressure is adjustable by simply releasing some air. So now that's finally time for testing and I will start from common modeling scenarios. So that would be painting dots, lines and shading. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, airbrush is easily controllable and I am able to achieve different intensities in dots. This kind of flexibility will be more than enough for general purpose model making. I have to mention that included airbrush needle size is quite big. If you are building lots of aircraft models, I would recommend you to get airbrush with smaller needle and nozzle sizes, for example 0.2 or 0.15. Gladly, included airbrush hose is compatible with most airbrushes, like Harder and Steenbeck, Iwata, Sparmax and others. I am pouring primer into cup and we'll start priming this car interior. If you listen carefully, you will hear how airbrush is struggling, because compressor is reaching pressure limits. It is necessary to make such tests, because cheaper airbrushes usually struggle while spraying feature paint. For modeling test number 2, I'm spraying this car bumper with nice red color. So this is our finished test pieces and result is actually quite good. Primer finish is quite smooth and unified and it proves that you can use this kind of airbrush for model making. Of course, this kind of airbrush kit is not perfect. Compressor is heating quickly and you have to take lots of breaks in order to finish one model. Also, there is no precise pressure adjustment 
and it is necessary if you like to paint lots of aircraft camouflages. If you are not very serious about scale modeling and you can live with that noise it generates, this could be a nice solution for you. If you are a beginner airbrush artist and you plan on painting pictures or maybe t-shirt, you will need something more powerful, because included compressor is simply too weak. If you still think that's something you might want, affiliate links for purchase will be in the description. Thank you for watching this review and see you soon in my next modeling episode.